Hey Virgos, this is your weekly reading for love, career, family, and friends. Here we go, starting off with your love life, okay? Thank you guys for tuning in. This week has been a very busy week for me, full of appointments and different things going on. So <clears throat> you're seeing me kind of late in the week. But here we go. For Virgo's love life, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, three cards for Virgo's love life. King of Swords, the lovers, the tower, okay? King of, King of Swords, this is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, <clears throat> air sign energy. Someone could be hiding feelings, hiding emotions. Someone could be coming off as kind of cold. This could be you coming off as cold. We have the lover's energy here, Gemini energy. Some of you are definitely dealing with the Gemini or someone who may have that in their chart. It's like someone wants love. Um, and then we have the tower card, Scorpio's energy is coming through. Could be dealing with the Scorpio. Um, but it's like something explosive is getting ready to happen. At the bottom of the deck is the nine of swords. This could be bothering someone. Why is the king of swords here? Four of Wands, definitely someone, uh, it's like someone may know they want a relationship, but not really saying much. Someone may also be laying down the law at home, uh, being very strict, I feel. Why is the lovers here? Eight of Swords, someone is all in their head concerning a love situation, um, overthinking, overanalyzing, may feel anxiety when it comes to having a relationship why does uh or why is the tower here gemini energy yeah gemini's energy is all over this okay so some of you may have gemini in your chart but with the magician <clears throat> it's like someone is manifesting something to blow up it's like someone explodes something comes out it's like a weird feeling here yeah, it could be with an empress, Taurus Libra energy, could be with an empress, a, a wife or a mother figure. Yeah, something is very difficult with the Ten of Wands concerning this connection. I feel like someone is like holding back or not. It's like they're thinking a lot, but they're okay. Children want it to come out. So you could have children with this person or someone could be acting like a child, acting immaturely. Uh, for the advice card, let's get one more for Virgos in their love life. It says very soon, very soon. Okay, so someone, the tower moment, someone could uh, say that they're pregnant or something could be coming out very soon or someone's uh, anger may be explosive. Someone coming out with their anger, maybe there's fighting over children um, or just a lot of anxiety surrounding children. Let's get one more advice card on that. It says success. Okay. So in this situation, someone is going to have the victory or success um, when it concerns your love life. Okay. So don't give up hope. Okay. But I feel like something is going to come to light or something is coming out. Okay. So what's going on with your career? Virgos and their career. Three cards, please. Virgos and their career. Page of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Two of Swords. Some of you, did you just invest in something? Some of you are trying to grow your money. Maybe you're trying to flip your money. Maybe you're looking at what you can invest in, like stocks and bonds or something like that. Maybe you're trying to see how to invest in the stock market. Some of you have gone from like nothing, Page of Pentacles, to a lot seven of pentacles you've grown your money over time maybe in these last seven years you've really been putting aside money saving money two of swords but there's some type of indecision here or a decision you will need to make some of you are trying to make a decision on how to invest money or how to pull your money out and what to put it towards okay could be a home some of you getting a home why is the page of pentacles here yeah, the high priestess. So you're trying to use your intuition with the high priestess energy. I also feel like don't tell everyone what you're doing with your money. Why is the seven of pentacles here for your money? Ace of cups. Yeah, some of you are getting ready to, ready to start something brand new, something that's going to make you very emotionally happy. Why is the two of swords here? 
again, the magician needing to make a decision, manifesting a decision. So you may not know what to do at this moment, but you need to manifest or you're trying to manifest this week a decision on what to do with finances. Let's get a, a card for that. Advice card for Virgo's career and money. Look, listen to your intuition. <laughs> Wow, you cannot make this up. The high priestess, when it came out, I said, you're using your intuition concerning something. So listen to your intuition. If it's time to uh, invest in the stock market or something like that, then go ahead. If you feel like it's time to sell or, or buy something, do it. Listen to your intuition, okay? Some of you are really making smart money moves this week, okay? Let's get an oracle card on Virgo's money. Crown chakra, yeah. Enlightenment. You're being very, very smart with your money, okay? And I feel like you have been, like I said, in these last seven years. What's going on with you and your family? Woo! All the cards want to come out at one time. <laughs> What's going on with Virgos and their family? Virgos and their family. Okay, three cards, please. We have the Three of Cups. What's going on with you and your family? The Hermit and the Queen of Wands. Mm. Also, remember that your family could be your spouse. Your spouse is also considered your family. So love may mix in here in a little bit. Uh, uh, in just like a little bit of... Love mixed in there. I cannot talk. Y'all help me. <laughs> so the three of cups is here. So there may be something that is needing to be reconciled. But hermit, this may be you or this could be someone you're dealing with in the family. Someone is in hermit mode. And then queen of wands, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. This could make somebody upset or angry. Some of you could uh, be dealing with a fire sign who wants to reconcile. Maybe they not, they're not saying this to you. Someone who could be very passionate. Yeah, at the bottom of the deck, Knight of Wands energy. Someone who's very passionate, the energy of a chaser. Someone who's trying to figure out how to come in. Why is the Three of Cups here? Yeah, it could be dealing with the Libra. Libra, this is their major arcana. Someone wanting to reconcile, make things right. Why is the Hermit here for your family? Two of Cups, yeah, definitely about a love connection. This could be about someone who wants to come back into your life, make a family with you. Why is the Queen of Cups, or say I said Queen of Cups, somebody has feelings. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Ace of Wands, yes, somebody is very passionate about you. Very passionate. You could be very passionate as well, wanting to reconcile something. Some of you could be making it right with a partner, maybe wanting to spend more quality time with your partner, maybe wanting to beef up your sex life or turn it into something more spicy. I do feel that energy. What's the advice here? What's the advice here for you and your family? What's the advice here? We have, if you believe, yeah. Have a little faith in the situation. Do what you need to do to spice things up. Um, someone wants you to kind of like invest in them or they want to invest more in you. What's the Oracle card for this situation? Emotional withdrawal. And see, that's what I feel with the hermit energy. Someone may not be saying this. So it's like maybe the two of you have been kind of distant emotionally or someone has just been withdrawing, but it's time for you two to bring it back together and spice things up with that ace of wands. Spice things up in the marriage. Uh, there may be some baby making stuff going on for you and your family. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, and so what's going on? Let's pull from this deck again. What's going on with your friends? What do you need to hear and know about your friends? For Virgo and their friends. Three cards, please. For Virgo and their friends. Three of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. So it's like with Three of Pentacles, you could be wanting to hang out. Someone could be wanting to hang out with you. It could be uh, about three friends, you and two other people. Um, two of Pentacles, but someone feels unsure about something or up in the air. Maybe you haven't heard from someone in a while. You're wondering how they're doing or what's going on with them. It could be a Cancer Pisces or Scorpio, or it could be someone who um, is like 
like a sister to you, like a brother to you, someone who you really have emotions for, someone who you really care about, I feel. Why is the Three of Pentacles here for Virgos, friends? Six of Pentacles. Lots of money. Could be money involved. Does someone owe you money? <laughs> is It's that energy as well. Coming together to discuss some things about money. Why is the Two of Pentacles here for you and your friends? The world card. Okay, so you're not sure if something is over or if something, if a cycle has closed out or if you two can move on um, or still be friends. Why is the Queen of Cups here for Virgo's friends? Ten of Cups. Yeah, I feel like everything is going to work out. Everything will be fine between you and this person. Maybe y'all just have to discuss some things. Maybe you're the one who's always pay paying for someone when y'all go out or um, I feel like someone owes you money. <laughs> And maybe it's a hard subject to talk about. Um, or you're always paying for someone and it's kind of time to let that person know like, hey, you know, you could pay for something sometimes. That's what the Six of Pentacles is about. Reciprocity. Okay. So it's like if we go out, you know, don't, don't always be the one to pay or to offer up your services, you know, always offering someone a place to stay or always, because Virgos are so giving of themselves, you're a service sign. So you, you show love through servicing others. So don't be that person that always gets suckered into taking care of everyone else. Um, even though you love your friends, you may have feelings and strong emotions for them. Don't always get suckered into taking care of them like they're your, your children. That's what I do want to say. Okay, and so what's the advice here? Ask your angels. Yeah. Ask for your for advice, guidance from your angels. And also, I feel like angels are around you. Look at the bottom of the deck. Forgiveness. Yeah. You may have to forgive someone for acting like that. Give me an oracle card on this situation. Oh, okay. What we got? Stand your ground. You guys. What did I <laughs> I'm telling you, don't let people walk all over you. Stand your ground. Don't let people keep asking you for money or, you know, asking for favors over and over again. Alrighty, Virgos, that is your energy for this week. Don't forget to like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Also, share this video and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monet Tarot. I look forward to hearing from you. You guys, look in the, the description box below. Sophia Monet Apparel. Click the link. Go to the website. I created this for you guys. Check it out. For those of you who have not heard, I do have a clothing line for Sophia Monet Tarot. Okay. So I would appreciate it if you would check it out and buy something from the website uh, to help me out. Thank you guys so much. Take care. Bye.